Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on fault creation testing. All right. So the agenda is see what is fault creation testing. We will be discussing what exactly the fault creation testing is. What are the key concepts in fault creation testing? So I mean where we will be creating the faults and we'll be validating. All right. Then steps to create the fault creation testing. So only these are the three uh, things that we are going to see in this video. So first of all, what is fault creation testing? Yeah, let's see. This is a system level. Th sorry, this is a user level. So the uh, driver is driving a vehicle and uh, he'll be applying uh, act pedal to uh, propel the vehicle. All right. So here the, the act pedal is not just only one sensor or just a single switch to uh, propel the vehicle there will be uh, multiple sensors so here uh, we have mentioned two sensors and there can be uh, four sensors in some vehicles so it depends on the vehicle and depends on the variant all right so even we have four uh, sensors also the reason the question is why we have uh, two sensors or four sensors so even one sensor is is sufficient to propel a vehicle right but the reason is there is only two reason first one is to ensure the redundancy all right so redundancy means so uh, if two sensors is giving uh, same uh, same values or nearby value it will just take the redundant uh, input and it will give the output to the uh, throttle body to propel the vehicle that is the first one second thing is if one sensor goes wrong if one sensor goes uh, you know uh, goes wrong that is it may it may it may have some issues with the hardware or it may issue it may have some issues with the software or whatever it is so if there is any any wrong with one sensor is how the system will behave yeah if two sensor goes wrong then no we can't do anything but if one sensor goes wrong we'll get some indication so that the driver can have a time to at least uh, visit a garage so even at a time if two goes wrong then he can't do no one can help all right so but still these are the scenarios but what would be the output what would be the if two sensor goes wrong so how the situation will be so that is what we will be validating. So in, in the software, if two goes, if two sensors goes wrong, if one sensor goes wrong, so there will be some scenario like the driver may get a proper indication before uh, it, it, uh, it enter into the critical stage. He may get some indication so that he can park the vehicle or he can visit the garage if it is possible. All right. So these are all the software that will be defined to make the uh, vehicle to behave if the fault happens so that's what we are what we are doing in the testing uh, environment is we will be creating the fault intentionally we are creating the fault and we are checking the output so how the output will be we are checking the output so how this behaves all right so that is what fault creation testing is fault creation testing is nothing but we are intentionally creating see uh, see the fault creation testing is also a fault injection we are injecting the fault or we are checking the tolerance level so how far it is tolerating what is the behavior of the uh, system is all right so it's a crucial aspect of the automated testing at ensuring the reliability and the safety of the vehicles as well as the passenger it is a process of deliberate false or errors or injected into the system to evaluate how well the vehicle components and system can detect handle and recover these faults so see here how how far it is detected like it may be uh, with a certain uh, fraction of time or it may be the seconds all right and how it is handling if it is happening so for example here if we have one sensor goes fault so how the another sensor behave like how the system is taking this sensor input and how it is behaving how it is literally handling the system if one goes wrong all right then and recover these faults. So if there is a possibility of recovering, how the system is recovering the fault, everything these three we can validate. All right. So here we have. So this is just about the fault creation testing. Even you can you can go through this. All right. So here, how the fault can be created. So what are the types? We have three types. So one is hardware level fault, then software level fault, then environment level fault. So coming to environment level fault, it's a simple. It may be, uh, see, if, if the driver is driving a vehicle in a, in a cold region like a North America or in a northern part of the world, so there will be a there will be a cold, right? So how the engine behaves, so how it it how what are the mechanism it is taking uh, to uh, warm itself before uh, you know there is a pre-start conditions, how it behaves. So this will be comes on environmental fault, but again. 
if it is a mention is a fault say for example due to this temperature if some sensor goes wrong all right so if, some, if something uh, there is some error with the component then how it will behave that's what all about the environmental fault this so software fault is all about uh, just creating uh, see here software fault is creating um, a communication fault or a corruption data corruption or uh, issues with the software issues with the codes so these are all the three possibilities of the software so you will be you will be creating these fault for these faults and checking all these all right checking the behavior so this is a one possible this is a possibility of the software faults then coming to the hardware faults you'll have what are the hardware faults you'll have the sensor failure or you have the actuator failure actuator or motor whatever it is so the actuator failure all right then you'll have uh, some uh, short circuit with the wires or you'll have the issues with the power supply so these are all the basic uh, things with the hardware failures so what you will do is you will be checking uh, the possibilities on all these failures and check, uh, checking the behavior like how it is uh, behaving how it is behaving in the sense how it is reporting to the driver how it is uh, um, behaving the system level what hap what is happening so how the software uh, makes the car to behave if it has any failure so for example if one app one is getting failed then how the system is behave only with the app2 all right so th like this you'll have uh, the scenarios then three is it's like an environmental failure that's what you can it's the best example is temperature so or if there is any any issues with the natural calamity so how the system behaves all right so these this will happen in the real car all right after market that is after production but this will be validated in the testing environment and we'll have a report all right so in a real time if anything goes wrong then at least you you should have a data to val to check how it is behaved at the, the testing environment and how it is uh, really happened in the real time all right so this is all about the this is the second point that we we mentioned in the agenda all right so first is uh, what is fault creation and next is the types of the faults the third one is it's a very important all right so the steps to handle the fault creation so we have a uh, six steps so first one is identify the critical components again it depends on the what level say for example now i am working only on a uh, on a powertrain level or a transmission level so i have a critical area on the app sensor so i will be fo i'll be focusing more on the app sensor all right so there i'll be creating the scenarios so what i'll create so for example here i'll be creating uh, first scenario is my app1 will be um, error all right so this will be error and this is fault free so now we have app1 is uh, uh, faulted app2 is okay so the second scenario app1 is uh, fine, working fine app2 has some issue then the third scenario is both are not working so how it will react or how it will notify the driver as per the requirement and and in the default stage both are working fine so what would be the output so this is all about only with the sensor all right again we can have a we can draft another scenario with the communication if there is any bus off happens with app1 or 2 or either so how it will work okay so or if there is any issues with the uh, uh, with the software level so how it will behave so everything we can draft as a scenario that's what the second step is we can define the fault scenarios and uh, uh, so that we can try to inject it at the time of execution all right and uh, third point is like what are the possibilities of using uh, tools external tools or code injection or even a manual testing all right so creating a fault condition is uh, by by using the test steps only by using a manual only you can uh, try to create this fault is a for manual in, manual injection external tools we can uh, give some um, uh, external uh, factors like say for, for example you can use any tools to inject the fault all right you can create some extra pulse or you can uh, create uh, some uh, time difference or you can inject some delays so that the the tool will not allow the ecu to receive the message on time all right so the code injection if there is any false you can by modifying the code that also you can check all right so this is what the injection mechanism and the final one is once you're done with these two uh, 
things so that you can execute whatever you have drafted and once you executed you have the results to analyze so there you can hand you can see how it is handle the false how it is uh, making the error detection like if you did some changes in the code injection then how it will uh, mod it will include it is uh, handling the error detection and the recovery how is the recovery time or is it really recovering or not if the fault is a reversible fault is it really recovering or not that also you can be uh, able to see and the final one is report findings so you can check the document results that is uh, where there is a high risk involved and where is it really areas that the software can be still matured still uh, improvised can be taken care all right so these are all the three uh, crucial factors including in the fault creation testing on a short uh, I hope you understand something in this video if you have any queries yes you can uh, please uh, get back to us we'll catch you in the next video until then bye take care